Hi there, today we're going to talk about the new release from Screen Factory, From Beyond. Screen Factory, uh, in case for those who don't know, are uh, putting together these deluxe uh, editions of uh, mostly uh, classic 80s horrors and giving them all new artworks and uh, special features and for the most part better transfers. This one here from Beyond came out a year after uh, Reanimator with the same director and producer and star and uh, both films are based on H.P. Lovecraft works. I actually prefer uh, From Beyond to Reanimator. Reanimator is pretty crazy and over the top but I think From Beyond has works uh, better on uh, multiple levels and is a more interesting film. So let me just uh, read what it says on the back. H.P. Lovecraft's classic tale of suspense became a grisly amalgam of sex, shock and satire. In the hands of the creators of Reanimator and now armed with shocking never before seen footage and special features and on Blu-ray for the first time this bloody good entertainment has evolved into one of the most gruesomely riveting film experiences of all time. So let's talk a little bit about the transfer itself. It's uh, a dual layered disc, the high bit rate, and it's a 1.78 to 1 framed image, and it's actually surprisingly an excellent transfer for a, a sort of old film that has a lot of multi layered effects. It is soft from time to time, but that's probably more inherent to some of the uh, layered effects uh, that they would have done back in the day, and <clears throat> probably a little bit of noise reduction here and there. Um, and a lot of the dark scenes probably keeps it a little bit soft, but uh, for the most part, I can't imagine this looking any better. I'm fairly sure this is what it would have looked like in the cinema. And it really shows off the visual effects. I should note that uh, this is the unrated cut that has all of the gore that was uh, taken out uh, to get it through the ratings put back in. Uh, luckily for them, as one of the excellent special features uh, tells you, that the editor kept all the trimmings that they made in a box so they were able to uh, years later uh, reinsert them uh, when they had the opportunity to do a director's cut. The audio is original 2.0 um, but also the, this, the new 5.1 audio both are solid. I think I prefer the 5.1 but uh, for those who don't have a surround sound system you'll be more than happy uh, with the, with the uh, the regular 2.0, and the special uh, features include two audio commentaries. The one as uh, a vintage one with uh, director Stuart Gordon and the cast, and then there's another one with uh, the screenwriter, a new one. Uh, there's a new interview also with Barbara Crampton. Uh, the director's perspective feature it. Editing Room, Lost and Found feature it, Interview with comp Composer, Richard Band, Photo Gallery, Storyboard to Film Comparison with Introduction, and a few other little bits and pieces as well. So, it also includes a DVD of the film, for those who may require it. This is a nice slip cover with this uh, freshly commissioned artwork. I, I, I quite like this artwork. I've... Um, I have seen ones I liked better from Shout Factory, the They Live one and the two Halloween ones I thought were a little better. This is a little bit more cartoony uh, than those and not quite as menacing considering this film is quite menacing. Um, but we do have the original artwork here which I prefer. This is the one I remember from the video store as a kid. Um, on the inside cover, so something Screen Factory does they uh, give you the original artwork on a reversible cover. In fact, I think I will keep the original artwork on the cover because it doesn't make any sense to have the same artwork twice. The slip cover, and we'll have the inside cover uh, there. And there's the discs. Same artwork on both, one's DVD, one's Blu-ray. So it's a really nice package. And uh, this is the first time I got to see it with the reinstated gore, and it is pretty nasty. Um, 
some people have say that it gets to uh, the same levels as the John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982, but uh, it doesn't really get anywhere close to that level. Uh, but the effects are good, and it gets pretty crazy, and um, you get to see it in all its glory finally. So fans of Reanimator should pick this up. Uh, fans of uh, over the top 80s horror should pick it up. And uh, another good package from Scream Factory.